Hello guys, Unknown Gamer here, and in today's video we have some great bloody news. Tyler Paris has been bound up in jail. And if you guys have no clue who Tyler Paris is, he's a so-called swatter. You know, he basically calls fake threats at people's houses because that's a really productive thing to do. I mean, I mean, we see, you know, obviously, I think it was in like 2017, you know, the swatting thing was very big. A lot of people were DDoSing, you know, and all that shit, you know, you know in people's houses, basically. And, you know, it was such a shit show altogether. A lot of Twitch streamers were at risk of this and pretty much at, at risk of their lives being taken. You know, obviously, apparently, police in America are very trigger happy at times, and you know, they're, they're apparently that's just a fact. Apparently, I, I just got that off the internet, but but you know, you know, swatting is very you know serious because obviously, police are spending a lot of their money on just one situation, and you know, it's just another thing altogether because they're spending lots of you know their hard-earned you know the taxpayers' money basically to get rid of this threat but it's not even a threat at all so all right here's what happened right Tyler Barris yeah, well it's not Tyler Barris but these two card players were in a Viker match obviously they wanted to play 1v1 I think oh, well, I'm not too sure and the, and the bet was uh, $1.50 you know where this is going already when you hear this so let's say they got a bit too angry very angry to the point where they were threatening each other and you know threatening to uh, swat them or some shit and obviously one friend well what a great friend that is decided to you know contact Tyler Barris I think it was on Twitter I have no one I have no clue to uh, basically swat his friend which is another which is really stupid in its own right but you know as Tyler Barris was doing this you know typing on his fucking keyboard like he's a fucking Neo, I don't know, some Matrix Lord or some shit. He uh, got the address wrong, and you know he made the fake calls about being, you know, taking his family hostage and all that shit. And uh, that say it didn't really go well because he got the wrong fucking address, and basically got you know someone who doesn't even play video games at all, and you know when just basically got shot. And it's honestly really sad because. He basically putting someone in harm's way that they didn't even do anything wrong. Because obviously, you know, though you you know, obviously Ty Barris was going in a little fucking you know, defence mechanism mode here, saying, Oh, it wasn't my fault, or the it was the police's fault. Mate, you're the one who's caused it. If you call you know, basically SWAT teams to someone's house, they're gonna be very trigger happy. They don't know what situation they were going through. And especially with a lot of, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm just saying it myself because I'm not from America, but apparently a lot of police there are trigger happy. And, you know, getting this guy shot is just bullshit because he didn't do anything fucking wrong. And it, it's a sad thing altogether because it, this guy has to die for rules to be changed. And I'm, I'm hoping other people basically... You know, you know, see this situation as shit. I shouldn't be doing this. And you know, Tyler Barris hasn't just done that. He's, you know, he called bomb threats at the FCC on, you know, with the net neutrality thing. But you know, does he really care? I mean, I mean, he already killed a person, hasn't he? Let's just get that honest. I mean, this person is just—he's non-caring. You know, he's went on the interview with Keemstar and Dramler, he didn't give two single fucks on what he did. And basically he's he was just doing it for honestly he basically got attention out of the whole killing thing and then and then you know we went to court and shit and apparently he cried in court which is hilarious because you know I acted like this big internet tough guy and, and it's another whole thing together. I mean it is hilarious. I love it. And now he's banged up in prison for 20 years. Congrats, mate. You've thrown your life out of the fucking tin. Well, I mean, at least we don't have to, have to see people like you on the streets and basically pointing innocent people in harm's way. Well, you know, when he gets out of jail in the next 20 years, he'll probably do it again. God knows. But, 
anyway guys, I'm gonna leave the video here. This is just all my thoughts and opinions on the guy. This is very, very, you know, hateful towards him. I do wish hate towards this guy who basically got an innocent man killed in that sweaty situation in 2017. So, yeah, guys. Uh, you know, I'll comment down what you think of, you know, Tyler Barris getting 20 years in prison. It's pretty obvious by now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, leave a like on the video. And, yeah, you know, subscribe for more content like this. If you really like this content, which a lot of people do apparently, which is awesome. So, hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, see you in the next video and I'll see you then.